All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Ruach Shabbat Shalom to all the brothers and sisters in recognition to observing this day for worshiping the Most High. Sundown this evening to sundown tomorrow evening. Let's get some worship and praises in. My people, we are living in the days to where we definitely need to, okay? Today we're going to discuss uh, the coming of the Most High and repentance before He does come, you know, because as you can see right here with this illustration, it's, will, it's going to be a day of destruction and darkness, you know? All the signs are on the wall, you know, uh, for us that um, are watchmen that can see. The signs are in the air. It's not going to be much longer, you know, before um, the Most High, you know, come back down here and string things out. Let me just put it like that, you know. The other day, I think it was Wednesday. I can't remember where, but it was a, a 7.3 uh, earthquake, you know, on the Richter scale. Scale. And then, you know, you're getting these, a lot of fires too. A fire and a happening in um, uh, Plymouth, Indiana at a Walmart. I got some pictures of that, you know, when they was doing the, you know, putting the fire out and uh, cleaning it up and all that. And I can tell you the spirits that were in that smoke, <clears throat> it's enough to give bad dreams just to look up on, okay? And then you got, of course, Russia and Ukraine. There's something going on there that where America has a lot of interest in. It's been said that uh, they have been, um, America has been um, stashing a lot of nuclear weapons in the Ukraine. And um, basically they are allies with Ukraine and Russia knows it. And this is the reason why Putin, you know, is going to war you know with the ukraine and of course um america is going to step in eventually then you got china it is said that uh putin is ac asking china for assistance some kind of financial assistance or whatever i don't know but what i am saying is that we are on the cusp of world world three okay that's just what it is you know, it is also said that the MOTB is supposed to be implemented before World War III. Okay. Hmm. I said this before and I'm going to say it again. I do believe that that is already being implemented and has been implemented as we speak. Okay. That's just what it is. See. So now... Is not going to be long before we go into World War Three, and after World War Three, during some time, you know, uh, World War Three comes. I mean, in between that that time, the Most High is coming, and it's going to be destruction. You know, I hear you know a lot of people say you know. Um, to where um, they can't stand the way the world is and they want to hasten the coming of the Most High. And we're supposed to do that. But the question is, will we be ready when he does? See, that's the question. Will we be ready? Will we be repentant when he does come? Because if we're not, then we're going to get, you know, destroyed with the enemy. You know? I mean, it says that a lot of us are going to be scarcely saved. You know what that means? That means barely. You know? So this is the reason why I wanted to discuss repentance and the coming of the Most High. Okay? Because uh, time is running short. Now let's go over to uh, 2 Peter. Let's start there. Second Peter chapter three, we're going to start here in verse nine. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, 
as some men count slightness, but is sub- long suffering to us were not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Okay, let's talk about repentance a little bit. First of all, repentance is actually accepting Yahweh Shai, the Hamashiach, the Messiah, better known as the Christ, into your heart, into your life, and asking him to be a mediator between you and the Father. And also repenting, in other words, turning away and asking for forgiveness of all the sins that you've committed. And once you do it, you got to keep doing it on a day-to-day basis because that's just what it is. We can, you know, we we sin, you know, <laughs> may not be willingly, but we just sin regardless, whatever it is, right? If you're not sinning in ways, you may be sinning in thought or in speech. So you have to say, you know, you still have to repent, but you turn away from your wicked ways and you ask the Hamashiach to ask the Most High to forgive you. And you keep doing that. You know, and you don't go back to the old ways, okay? That's what repentance basically is. Not to continue, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversations and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we accordingly, we according To his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore belong, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. And account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. Even as our beloved brother Paul also according to the wisdom given into him hath written unto you. Okay? See, this is what we got to strive for right here. You know? See, the long suffering for the Most High is being that he has supernatural patience. I'm going to just say that. You know, uh, his patience is like miles and miles and miles and miles up on top of miles long. <laughs> Some people' patience ain't that long. Okay, his patience is like that because he want to give you time to get it together. You know, that's just what it is. Let's go over to Amos uh, right here. Uh, Hmm. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Let's get into it. Amos 5.18 Well, we're going to start here in 15. Hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord Yahweh of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Therefore, the Lord the God of hosts the Lord saith thus wailing shall be in all streets and they shall say in all the highways alas alas and they shall call the husbandmen to mourning the husband the husbandman is the hamashiach that's Yahawashai. that's the husbandman okay to continue and such as are skillful of lamentations to wailing and in all vineyards shall be wailing. Okay? That's hollering and crying, y'all. <laughs> you know? For I will pass through thee, 
said the Lord. Okay. And as we what we just read, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and not brightness in it. I hate, I despise your feast days and I will not smile. I guess that's what they mean. Smile on your solemn assemblies. Solemn assemblies. Okay, we got a lot of people, you know, well, play churches because they ain't real churches. They ain't teaching. They're not teaching nothing. They ain't doing nothing but getting up there hearing the pastor barely understand, you know, saying things you barely understand and why they hollering amen and clapping loud and while sister whoever Bertha gets you know catch the Holy Spirit and scare the shit out of kids you know what I mean and wonder what's going on you know that's basically what these churches are about and then once that happens you're gonna pass the pot then you after passing the pot say a little bit more next thing you know we got the love our offering coming love offering I don't know what that is you know and ties ain't even all about none of that you know this is what you're getting out of church then after the church they go in the, co the golden corral you know what i mean sit up there and eat up a house and a home from there they gonna go home sleep watch the tv might go back to you know sunday prayer you know later on about six o'clock in the evening or whatever maybe they may go back that's basically all you get in these baptist churches they're not teaching nothing all right they're not teaching who you are because a lot of them are on a the 501c3 they get paid to stay in a certain doctrine to keep you in the dark that's what a lot of these pastors are doing now it's time to come out of the darkness and forsake forsake that way of living okay it's like i said and like the words say the most high is coming is going to be a day of darkness that's just what it is And really, it's going to make this depict this uh, in depiction or whatever you want to call it look like a day at the zoo. This ain't nothing compared to the way it's really going to be. Okay? That's just what it is. And it's scary, but it's good that it's scary. You understand? Now, my part, you know, that I, I, I feel like I chose, you know, to do. You know, I may have not chosen. Maybe I was chosen to do it. I don't know. But my part is to, I feel like I need to warn the people. See? Let's go over to Ezekiel. Ezekiel 3.18 When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou shalt give us him not warning, nor speak it, to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity but his blood will I require at thine hands that means if the most I give me something like the word and to tell the brothers and the sisters and, and I don't do it and they die you understand I won't be held accountable for that I got blood on my hands you see what I'm saying? If that's the case. Well, I don't want blood on my hands. So I'm going to do what the Most High is telling me to do. If he's given me to me, given this to me, you know, as it is, you know, it says that to whom he gives much is required. So this is what I'm supposed to do. Whatever I know, I got to give it to y'all. And it's up to y'all to make the choice from that moment on. See, that's just what it is. Uh, now, if you're going down here, let's see here. And 19, we're going to take it from 19 to 20. This is the other side of it. Yet, if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast 
delivered thy soul. Okay? That means my soul delivered. It's off of me because I did say something. To continue here, again, when a righteous man does turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die because thou hast not given him warning. Okay? He shall die in his sin and his righteousness, which he have done, shall not be remembered. But his blood will I require at thy hand. You see what I'm talking about? This is the main reason why I don't want to fit none of these demonal heresies if I don't do what I'm supposed to do. That's why I've, you know, chose to dedicate one day to basically uh, ministering the word, you know, uh, to, to you guys, you know, to the people. And I chose today to do it. You know what I mean? day of the sabbath basically you know that's pretty much all i got on this one people that's all i wanted to tell you guys but uh take heed to what i'm saying for those of you that you know may feel like you straddling the fence pick a side pick a side okay like i said at the beginning of this video the writing is on the wall and we don't have long okay before the dark day of the coming of the most high y'all tell me what y'all think about this particular uh, video right here I'm interested in hearing your thoughts views and opinions on it like comment share and subscribe people please remember to live your life as though we are being watched simply because we are this is James and I'm out peace <laughs>